Hi friends, it's finally time to watch the last Fear Street movie. <laughs> I love a good rural setting for a horror movie. If you strip away technology and the atmosphere of being surrounded by a lot of people, if you take all of those things away and you have just this tiny little community in the middle of nowhere, that's absolutely horrifying in itself. <laughs> then you add horror elements, beautiful. <laughs> Let's get into it. See, yeah, I'm already uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, we're starting like right off where the second one ended. Okay. Sarah! Sarah! Did Sarah cut off her own hand or did people do that to her? These damn subtitles. It's brief. Don't go wobbly on me now, Henry. I can't watch this. Oh, okay. Okay. This wicked one is going to Solomon. He's lucky to have a friend like you. Father. He struggled so. First his child, then his wife. I feel like I would have to think about what this means for longer than this moment that I'm going to give it, but I feel like there's something telling and interesting about the fact that we have not seen Dina's father at all in the first two movies. We've heard about him. Interesting that we're getting a father character now. And I know it's not technically Dina, but it is. They're probably meant to be parallels. I'm not marrying Solomon bloody good, if that's what you're driving at. She's also not interested in Solomon because she is simply not interested in that body. <laughs> is it so wrong for a father to wish his daughter to wed? That's probably why they kill her, isn't it? I'm gonna have so much fun trying to relate everything back to everything else as much as I possibly can. <laughs> I love this. I love this setting. Kate! Full moon rises before nightfall. A good night to enjoy the fruits of the land. Ah, secret message. Before nightfall. It has only been two seconds and I am obsessing. <laughs> I love that all the characters are back. Siggy! Got eyes in the back of my head! No. Oh yeah, he's gonna be evil. Rat constant. Don't be a shrew, Abigail. Oh my god, it's Cindy. Hannah Miller, don't tell me you're gone. Sam. I'm gone with Lizzie before to get berries from the wood. It's one thing for Lizzie to trade with that hag. It's another for the pastor's daughter. This is adorable. Also, she's the pastor's daughter. Okay, predictions are coming in early and they're coming in swift and they're coming in hot. And I'm sorry, I will not stop. <laughs> I will not even pause to breathe. <gasps> is the relationship between these two, which is probably going to be romantic in this iteration of their lives or these other characters' lives, going to be the reason why the pastor goes absolutely bonkers? Bonkers, batshit mad and kills a bunch of people or at least kills Seraphir because he doesn't want his daughter with a woman because it's ungodly I'll only go if you go they're so cute get inside oh her mom's still a crazy bitch in this one too that's good F. I can see a secret about you, girl. I'm glad they didn't clean you up at all since filming the second one. <laughs> I see the darkness in you, girl. You should certainly drink some more. Solomon! Oh, his dead family. Does that mean they must have recently died because their graves were still, like, freshly mounded? Is that a verb? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. The piles of dirt were still there, which means that they can't have been buried for long. My brother wants me to give up, move back to the settlement. Can we just acknowledge that he looks a million times better with the beard? Smack my ass like the drum! He says the good family are not farmers. Okay, so it's definitely the sheriff because his last name is Good, which has to mean that his family is legitimately related to who he's playing right now. Their last name is still the same. Mm. <laughs> still holding on to the notion that Sheriff Good has known about the witch supernatural stuff his entire life. That when his dad passed away, he gave him said information about what happens in Shady Side, and so he had to become a sheriff in order to continue protecting protecting people and protect the information that he's privy to. I think we'll get answers for that in this movie. I see a damn fool! You know nothing good comes from those woods after sundown, so you're going. 
go and where? It's delightful because that's exactly kind of their first interaction in the first movie, right? Because he was like, did you open the door? And she's like, what door? <laughs> it's the same interaction. The berries make you see the world beyond our own. The wit is a thousand years old. Sarah Fear is the witch that we know and love from the first two movies. Even this group in 1666 has their own sort of fabled woman, who I guess isn't dead and hopefully isn't haunting everything and everyone, but they still have a version of their own. Are we sure about this? No. Also, I think we should talk really fast about the styling because the styling has been so good in all of these movies, but it's very clever and interesting that Sarah Fear is dressed in nearly black. As far as we know her from what we've seen in the past, she's an evil character. And then Dina herself lives in Shadyside, which makes her the bad character because she's tainted because she lives in the bad side of town. And then we have Hannah, who's got this like white floral shawl on. The look in itself is very pure, it's very virginal, it's very clean, it's very sunny veil. Vale. You know what I mean? Do you, are, you, are you getting what I'm saying? <laughs> it's genius. Because I am a dumb bitch, I did bad at explaining that. I simply meant that the wardrobes are expressing the characters' qualities. Dina, Sarah are seen as evil and are wearing all black. Sam, Hannah are being forced by their mothers to be pure and innocent and are wearing all white. Thank you for struggling with me today. She's not here. Find the berries. I've honestly been so excited, I forgot that this is going to be scary. <laughs> Sarah Fear. Oh, that's the witch's mark. Nothing weird about any of that. Said, don't. Don't consume you from the inside. Full moon rises. Caleb, stop me if I don't tease me, girl. Ew. You know, maybe if you weren't such a frigid bitch. Good for you. We should go back. Should we? Oh, that's the moss. <gasps> is this where her hand's gonna get cut off? Because this is where they found the hand? No, I know. Someone saw us. They'll hang us. Sarah, I was not alive before now anyway. Un Oh god. And of course this whole town of people <laughs> are going to believe the alcoholic who can't even stand up straight because that's how afraid they are of two girls kissing. No, see I don't- you stay back there. If something happens to the dog. Mary boy, time to eat! If something happened to the dog, I'm- Telling you right now, movie, I can't handle it. Did somebody hang him? There's something wrong with my father. How did this happen? I'm not to see you anymore. She suspects us, Sarah. She suspects our wickedness. <gasps> oh. Uh oh. You won't stop until you completely ruined her life, will you? That's like a direct quote from the first movie. <laughs> It's so smart. God knows what you are, girl. I hope you die. Yeah, that would be enough to do it, probably, when everyone just wanted to believe everyone was a witch without really much cause besides being a woman. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't need any more of this. That is so gross. Sarah! The babes are gone. She had them. I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this. Can I just say as far as being gross and deeply unsettling, this movie is already beating the other two based on simply that scene alone. <laughs> and we've got an hour and a half left, so... What's going on here? Focus caught on something. So, oh no, 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 it's the dog. I don't like it. Who among you has welcomed the devil to union? Who sin? Rotten hell, Tommy. Can you keep a secret? Who was it? I thought it was Caleb or... Was it him? You, Hannah, was just a dalliance. No. It was not just a dalliance. Don't turn on her. You have turned on everybody else. One does not summon the devil by chance. You must extend their hand, which you did not do. No, I 
door is always open to you. Aww. What's happening? The pastor. He's locked his children in the mean house. Oh no, 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 no. Doesn't he cut out their eyes or something wild like that? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Honestly, the fact that something like this could happen and this whole group of people is not going to be like, oh, maybe it's the pastor's fault, right? Like, maybe he's the witch. It's gonna fall back on Zara, most likely. Absolutely batshit wild. The logic. The lack of it. Sirs. Josh is up front. Oh no. I'm freaking out. The f*** is that? <laughs> he did take out their eyes. They've been taken from me so quickly. <laughs> Sarah! Oh, Christ. <gasps> All right. All right, Sheriff Good. Good for you. Witchcraft! Show yourself! Isn't it funny that the only people that are witches are women? A dark and evil force at work here. Are there any women in this crowd? Tell me right now. Show me one. Show me one. <laughs> My child. Okay, they're just in the back. Our futures have been stolen from us. <gasps> An identical shot to the camp scene. Beautiful. Some little lambs of our town. How is he allowed up there? Somebody get him off the stage. We drank Applejack. We danced. We are young. Simon, bless you. I ask, do you have proof? I have proof. She witched me and led me to the woods. She was naked and riding a red mule. Hannah Miller and Sarah Fear. This movie is doing such a good job because it is making me legitimately furious and that's simply the sign of a good movie if it makes you actually hate something that's happening or a character. Lord. Again, we go back to logic, of which there is none. Solomon just stood up and said, show me your proof. And just like everybody else who has stood up there and ranted and raved about things that they've seen and things that they think, there's no proof. He's just telling a story. And what a wild story, you know? I mean, of course, it's fear-mongering, so it works with these idiots. Boy, am I angry at it. I hate this. <laughs> I'm really nervous that they're going to actually kill her, but you know, I wouldn't be surprised if part of Seraphir's rage is that Hannah got murdered. <laughs> we will not rest and we will not have mercy. To think that this shit actually happened in real life is wild. Hannah? I am to hang on the morrow. Everyone believes we've done it. So what difference does it make if we do now? I will make a deal with the devil when this is over. We will leave this place to kiss in the broad daylight. It's sad because you know they're not going to get away with anything. They want a witch. I will give them a witch. Rooting for them super hard and I know it's not going to work and it's such a horrible mental place to be in. <laughs> <laughs> F off. <laughs> I'm so nervous he's gonna betray her. I went back to the woods. To the widow. Sarah. She's dead. I think someone struck a deal with the devil. I'm gonna throw a prediction out. It was Solomon. I bet he struck a deal with the devil to try to bring his wife and child back. And I bet all of that wraps all the way back around to why he is responsible for being a sheriff and for keeping things under wraps and protecting people when really it's been his fault all along. It's, I'm Who else knows about this? No one. Solomon! Go, 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 quickly, hide. She's gonna find something she's not supposed to see down here. Solomon, Sheriff Good, Dirty Dog. I wouldn't have stuck my fingers in that far. Like maybe just one on the tip was like a little bit. <laughs> That has been one of the biggest mysteries to me, like Sheriff Good's devotion and connection to covering things up and keeping things hidden and why he does what he does. And it's all Solomon's fault. 
so far. Satan. How could you? How could I what? Take what we all want. One person every few years seems a small price to pay. A small price to pay because your family will be paying it the rest of their lives. Every single one of them. And that's why Sheriff Good is responsible. I am nothing like you. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. All right. Sarah, come back to me! Is that the hold of the outhouse? Christ. What? What? Oh no. Everything's really bad. It was really gross. Oh, uh, it wasn't even like cutting off her hand. It was like pulling off her hand. I knew it was coming. Oh, it's just like Cindy trying to save her sister. That won't make you look like a witch at all. Absolutely not. Absolutely it won't. <laughs> this isn't gonna end well. <laughs> I found the witch! I knew he was gonna betray her. Confess! For what? A burn in eternal hell. Confess your love for one another. I confess. No. no. I walk the light with the devil and I bewitched Hannah Miller. Oh no. It was only me. I will follow you for eternity. I will never let you go. I don't want to watch this. She deserves a proper burial. Let's move her. Us. And that's why the moss grows. I will never let you go. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I love this movie so much. Need help? I'll get over here. You stay over there, thank you. Josh! Good. He's evil. No, oh, I hate that. <laughs> Nick Good's pilgrim ancestor, he made a deal with the devil and then framed Sarah. He becomes Sheriff, his brother becomes mayor. Now that we know the truth, what happens now? We getting all of them? I want some more of that little boy with the baseball bat. We need to kill Nick Good. Wait, are we sure about this? Oh yeah! Janitor of them all. Wanna help us kill Sheriff Good? <laughs> Let me get my coat. How do we take out Good? We'll carry him. Hell yeah. <laughs> up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right, BA start. Konami code. This is the Konami code. <laughs> it's a code for extra lives. <laughs> I don't think it gets much more 90s than that. We go, we go. No, no, we go, we go. Martin. Oh, I've been waiting for you to die, bud. That's that asshole cop. Drop your weapon. Weapon is a super soaker. Y'all about to die real bad. F. -f. <laughs> it's making me nervous. No, that one doesn't close. <laughs> you don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Poor Ziggy. Carry the shit out of him. I'm really nervous that he's gonna kill her. Ziggy. Dina! If I die, she dies! Ah! Your blood is on her! Will you just lick her? Oh, I hate this. I hate the noise. I hate the lights being off and on. No, 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 no. Ah, yes, of course the final fight will be in the witch's room circle. Yes. 
guys. Uh, did Sam just escape? <laughs> Hurry up, Miss Ma'am. Go much faster than you are. Please and thank you. We have to get ready to fight. Wait. <gasps> My favorite boy. Listen, if four of those crazy supernatural undead monsters just went at it with each other and they all simultaneously died, there's no way in hell I'm going up against even one of them. Nope, no I would not. Not my mortal self. No thank you. Solomon, forge this place with nothing but words! Alright, Sheriff, good. That's enough. <laughs> that window said whip it good. I say whip it! Oh god. <laughs> Dina, I need you to f hurry. Looking for this. <gasps> Is that really it? Does the devil disappear that easily? Seems too simple. Is this the mayor's house? I don't really think it will happen, but it would be absolutely bonkers, brutal, amazing if they killed the mayor's entire family. It's like, just to really make sure that no goods take the sheriff's spot. I said what I said, As and always. I'm not changing on it, okay? Yep, it's the family tree. <laughs> That scared me. Nicholas Good, the Sunnydale serial killer. Wow, uh, thank you? <laughs> the janitor guy signed his cast. The only name on his cast is just Martin in really big letters. It's funny. <laughs> Pick you up later. You're not coming in? No, I got something to do. I hope Ziggy signed his cast too. You actually brought cheeseburgers. Burgers and the Pixies. Why are we going back into the mall? Should have killed all the goods. I'm telling you. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> well, that was incredible good fun. Also, it's very clear to me that they should have just killed the good family. The entire thing. Sorry, everyone, but <laughs> you're to blame for everything, and I wouldn't be surprised if one of those little young bucks takes over and starts murdering people all over again. Jesse! 